Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll solve exercise 20B from Mathematics 1. Now, number one. Number one says find the number of degrees in five right angle. We know that one right angle is 90 degree. If one right angle is 90 degree, then we can easily say five right angle will be five multiplied by 90 degree. That is very simple thing. So five right angle is equal to 5 multiplied by 90 degree. That will be 450 degree. That is the solution of number one. Now, number two. Number two says find the number of degrees in x by 3 right angle. So how can you solve? x by 3 right angle means x by 3 multiplied by 90 degree. How can you understand this one? Look, if one right angle is 1 multiplied by 90, 2 right angle is 2 multiplied by 90, 3 right angle is 3 multiplied by 90, 4 right angle means 4 multiplied by 90, then we can easily say x by 3 right angle will be x by 3 multiplied by 90. So if we divide 90 by 3, it will be 30. So final answer will be 30 x degree. Okay, that is the solution of number two. Now, number three. Number three says, find the angle between the hands of a clock at 22 hour. So what does 22 hour means? In a clock, we can see there is only 12 hour. That means if we subtract 12 from 22, then we'll get 10 hour. So the question actually asks you to find out the angle between the hands of a clock at 10 hour, 10 hour. So to understand this one, we have to draw this one. So what is 10 hour? If you understand properly, you can see that 10 hour means suppose this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand. Then we can say this is 10 hour. Now the question asks you to find out the angle between them. So how can we find out the angle? That is very easy. Look, look, if we think in this way, there are total 12 part, one part, two part, three part, four part. In this way, we'll get total 12 part. And we can see that from 10 to 12, that is only two. What is the difference between 12 and 10? That will be two. So if we look at this properly, we can see that in every hour, it will create 30 degree. This one is 30. Suppose then this one is 30. This one is 30. In every hour, it will create 30 degree. Okay. In every hour. Look at this in every hour. So here you will see that two hour from 10 to 12. That is two hour. 10 to 11, one hour. 11 to 12, two hour. So two hour. And we know that one hour in an one hour, hands of a clock will create 30 degree. So in two hour, hands of a clock will create to multiplied by 30 degree, that will be the 60 degree. That is the final solution of this problem. So at 10 hour, hands of a clock will create 60 degree. So please remember this one. In every hour, hands of a clock will create 30 degree. So in two hour, it will create 30 multiplied by two, that will be 60 degree. Okay, now next one. Number four says, find the angle between the hands of a clock at 16 hour. So what does 16 hour means? At first we have to understand 16 hour. So we have to subtract 12 from it. Then it will be four hour. So 16 hour and four hour both are same thing. So at four, hour hand will be there and at 12, minute hand will be there. So if you look at this, there are total four angle will be created. From 12 to 4, if you look at this, there are 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour, 4 hour. So total 4 hour. 1 hour, it will create 30 degree. In an 1 hour, hands of a clock create 30 degree. So 4 hour, the hands of a clock will create 4 multiplied by 30 degree. 4 multiplied by 30, that will be 120 degree. And we can easily understand in another way. Look at this properly. I'm just removing this one. If you look at this in this way, then you can easily understand. If we look at this, we can easily say this is a right angle. Right angle means 90 degree. And we have another 30 degree. So 90 plus 30, that will be 120. Why every angle? Suppose why 3 to 4? That means hands of a clock will create 30 degree. Look, this is one part out of 12 part. And total revolution in 360. 
So 360 by 12, that is 30. That's why in every hour, hands of a clock will create 30 degree. So at one hour, it will create 32 hour, two multiplied by 30, three hour, three multiplied by 30, four hour, four multiplied by 30, five hour, five multiplied by 30, and six hour, six multiplied by 30. And you, if you look at this properly, at six hour, it will create total 180 degree. That means one straight angle. At seven hour, seven hour, and five hour, both are same. Eight hour, four hour, same. Nine hour, three hour, same. 10 hour, two hour, same result. 11 hour, one hour, it will give the same result. Now, number five, number five, six. Find the angle between the hands of a clock y plus one hours afternoon. We know that in every hour, hands of a clock will create 30 degrees. Suppose one hour, it will create one multiplied by 30. Two hour, it will create two multiplied by 30. Three hour, it will create three multiplied by 30. So y plus one hour, it will create y plus one multiplied by 30 degree. After multiplying, what will you get? 30y degree plus 30 degree. Very simple problem. Now, number six, number six says the size of a certain angle is 30 degree. Okay. So here the measurement of a certain angle is given. How many such angles make up a right angle? At first, we have to understand what is right angle. Right angle means if two ray or two straight line exactly make 90 degree or one straight line is perpendicular to another one, and then it will create 90 degree. So one right angle means 90 degree. Okay. Here, measurement of one certain angle is given. So how many such angles? Just you have to divide 90 by 30. 90 by 30, that will be 3. So 30, 30, and 30. Okay. Then it will be 90 degree. That means you need 3 30 degree angle to make 90 degree angle. Now, number seven, number seven and number six, both are same. The size of a certain angle is 40 degree. How many such angles make up a revolution? We know that our revolution is 360 degree. So what is the question right now? The question asks you the size of a certain angle is 40 degree. So how many 40 degree do you need to make 360? That is very easy. Just you have to divide. 360 by 40 degree, you will get 9. Now, number 8. Number 8 says, through what angle does the minute hand turn between 14 hour and 16 hour? So, what does 14 hour and what does 16 hour mean? If we look at this properly, 14 hour exactly means 2 hour and 16, that means exactly 4 hour. So, the question asks you that what angle does the minute hand turn between 14 and 16, that means 2 to 4. So suppose this is a 2 hour and this is a 4 hour. We know that in every hour, that means from 2 to 3. From 2 to 3, when 1 hour will be completed, then minute hand will complete a whole revolution. That means 360 degree. Okay, here how many hour are there? 2 hour. So the minute hand turn between 2 to 4, that will be 2 multiplied by 360 degree. That will be 720 degree. That is very simple. In one hour, minute hand will complete a revolution that is 360. So in two hour, it will complete 2 multiplied by 360. That will be 720. Now, through what angle does the hour hand turn between 14 and 16? If we look at the previous problem, here minute hand will complete 720 degree angle. But our hand in every hour, our hand only complete 30 degree. So 2 multiplied by 30 degree, that is 60 degree will be created by our hand. Okay. So our hand turned between 2 to 4, only 60 degree. Now, number 10, our last problem. Number 10 says, through what angle does the hour hand turn in 20 minutes? From 2 to 3 hour, how many minutes are there? In one hour, one hour, total 60 minutes. How many minutes? 60 minutes, okay? If our hand turn in 20 minutes, then what will happen? Suppose 2 to 220. Suppose 2 to 220. Then what angle will be created? 2 to 220, this angle will be created. This is 20 minutes out of 60 minutes. 
and in one hour it will create 30 degree so 20 by 60 that will be 3 so one third and 30 divided by 3 that will be 10 degree so our final answer will be 10 degree our hand turn in 20 minutes that means 10 degree will be created instead of 20 30 minutes are there then 30 by 60 multiplied by 30 degree because one hour means 30 degree suppose 40 minutes then 40 by 60 multiplied by 30 degree okay then you will get your final answer suppose 50 minutes then 50 by 60 multiplied by 30 degree okay in this way we can easily solve this problem i hope you understand this chapter properly so thank you very much for watching this video see you soon on next video until then allah hafiz family